welcome to my crime reading channel my name is Kaylee and this is a deck unboxing and first uh, kind of review reaction and review of uh, the wandering star tarot this is the mass market edition produced by Hay House I do actually have the indie version that was on Kickstarter earlier in the year um, or the end of last year um, I will do a comparison video at some point between the two so you can see the difference. Um, but let's have a look at this mass market version. So let's see, let's get the plastic off. So obviously it's a Hay House uh, deck, so it does have the same dimensions as a normal Hay House deck and the two-part box with the thumb holes. Um, it has this um, matte foil, for want of a better <laughs> description, um, lettering and border on there um it's actually not as shiny as it appears on this camera it is a bit duller than that so if you are buying it um don't expect shiny shiny but it is it is shiny <laughs> it's just not as glossy as it looks in that light um on the side we have it printed gold the wandering star tarot and the same on the top and the and the side it has hay house in the corner of these borders um the tops and bottoms are all the same and then on the back we have the the blurb so we have there is a universe inside you the wandering star tarot is a compass for seekers and dreamers in search of the treasures that lie within the heart mind and spirit with unique hand-drawn illustrations keywords work subtly into the design of each image which is what i love about this deck and a guidebook filled with hopeful messages, quotes and spreads. This deck invites readers on all levels to work intuitively with the cards for insight and guidance. Uh, journey into this whimsical world of self-discovery and archetypes and meet two original cards that infuse the major arcana with powerful energy, the mother star and the creator. And then we have this barcode. Um, if you are worried about finding a fraudulent fake deck, um, if it hasn't got this, IS, this ISBN barcode on the back, it's probably fake. If there's a QR code that takes you to a booklet um, and it won't have Hay House on there, they'll have removed those markers from there. Anyway, this is a two-part box. It's plain black on the inside. Um, and then we have inside, there is a universe inside you with all the different constellations of the zodiac in there um, and then we have the booklet I will go through the booklet in a moment and then we have the Hosea universe inside you on the inside of that box um, and then we have yeah the cards themselves so they have and I this is what I loved about the indie version I think they're foiled on the indie version they're not in this deck um, and they're thinner cards but is this back design this gorgeous back design uh, it's reversible, so you can do reversals a bit easier, more neutral, shall we, shall we say? Um, but yeah, so anyway, let's have a look at the cards themselves that has pulled on the side of those. But let's see. So we have the Fool. Then we have the Magician. The High Priestess. The Empress. The Emperor, the Hierophant, the Lovers, the Chariot, Strength, the Hermit, the Wheel of Fortune, the Justice, the hanged man and if you look these words are cleverly worked into each of the cards so we have death and obviously these are around the edge on this one temperance the devil the tower the star the moon the sun Judgment, the world, then we have the mother star and the creator. They each have yes and no on the bottom of them. Mother star has yes, the creator has no. Then we go into the wands. So we have the ace of wands, the two of wands, the three, 
four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Um, and then we have the Page of Wands, the Knight, the Queen, and the King of Wands, Ace of Cups, Two of Cups, the Three, Four, Five, Six, Seven, Eight, I love that eight of cups. Nine, ten, the page, the knight, the queen, and the king. And then we go into the swords with the ace, the two, three, four. Five, six, seven. I really don't like that the magpie has been used as a dishonest thing. Obviously, this is magpie moonchild. Eight, nine, ten. The page, the knight, the queen. And the King of Swords. And then we go into Pentacles with the Ace. The Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine, ten, the page, the knight of pentacles, the queen of pentacles, and the king of pentacles. Um, the cards themselves are traditional Hay House tarot size, traditional size, uh, quite thin card stock. It's matte printed, not gloss, so it's matte printed. Casino shuffles, really easy. Uh, similar card stock to um, Lightseer's Tarot. Um, if you've used Lightseer's, the Lightseer's Tarot, the Hay House version. Um, again, it's another indie deck that has made it into these mainstream print houses. Oh my goodness, they don't want to go together. That has made its way into these mainstream print houses. Absolutely justified as well because cat pierce did such an incredible incredible thing with this deck especially with these keywords interwoven um hand over shuffling they shuffle really well they are um they can come away singly but they also equally if you wanted to pick up a chunk you can pick up a chunk but they will individual card as well bend them they do tend to stay bent but they do bend back really easily so i'm not overly concerned about bending with these cards considering the the price point of these they're under 20 pounds it's an incredible price for such an incredible artist who made such an incredible deck so um yeah let's have a look at the um the booklet so we have this wandering star guidebook um and then obviously we have cat pierce with hay house there um the dedication and the print details the contents uh so yeah we have the introduction a bit from cat then we have understanding the deck itself major arcana minor arcana and then the suits are explained using the deck ask a card a day three card spread um, wandering star spread it's a really good spread actually i've used that uh, celtic cross spread reverse meanings and then card messages and meanings themselves uh, major arcana 
So we have the Fool and the Magician. Um, so it has the number, the title, keywords that are probably most like most. I think most of them are on the cards, and then a description with a quote at the bottom for all of the um, mages, and then it has an explanation as well for the Mother Star and the Creator, and then it goes into the Minor Arcana. So we have the Suit of Wands with its elemental symbol there, um, and then we have the title, the keywords, description, and uh, quote for all of those through each of the suits. Um, and then we go into acknowledgements uh, about the creator, Cat Pierce herself. And then Hey House details, um, the advert for their app. And then the blurb on the back is there. So that is the Wandering Star tarot deck i absolutely love it i loved it on the kickstarter that's why i backed it um and i love it and that it's mass produced now so everybody can have access to it because sometimes indie decks can be quite expensive there are quality differences between mass produced and indie in this deck so i will com um compare those in a moment on another video um but this deck is incredible please use it because it's a really good beginner deck um there's some symbolism that's very similar to the Rider Waite Smith system, but equally it has its own intuitive messages to give anyway. Katz has done an excellent job on the artwork. It's absolutely beautiful, breathtaking. Um, and I'm not surprised they picked it up off the back of the Kickstarter because it's so unique and so powerful and so accessible as well. Um, and and a really good deck to intuitively read tarot for yourself if you were looking for that so i hope this has been of some use to you and hopefully i will see you again soon bye for now